Being a hairstylist isn't your typical nine to five. Since I've started in the industry, I've never had paid vacations, unemployment insurance, benefits, mat leave, and I'll never have any of that. But as a result, I had to learn to become really good with money. In this video, I'm gonna give you five steps to pre-booking your income. Pre-booking your income is key to being free. Knowing how much money you're gonna bring in will allow you to travel to the places that you wanna travel to, live in the house that you wanna live in, drive your dream car. So when I go on vacation, I need to have money for my flight, accommodations, spending money, and all my bills back home. But even more than that, before all your dream stuff, it's just gonna help you to pay your bills and keep a roof over your head and feed your family. If you need $4,000 a month, to survive and all you have in the books is $2,000 coming in every month, then you have some work to do. Now these five easy steps will help you get from where you are to where you need or want to be. Before we dive deeply into the five steps of how to pre-book your income, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell so that you're notified whenever these videos go live. We post new videos every other week and each video is aimed to teach you something, whether that be about yourself, your craft, or growing your business to make more money. So step number one of pre-booking your income is developing a roadmap. How do you know where you need to go if you have no idea where you are? I'm sure you've been to the mall before when you're like, I wanna go to American Eagle or something like that. And you see it on the map, but in order for you to figure out how to get there, you first need to find the you are here sign. The first step in pre-booking your income is figuring out where you're at. What are your monthly expenses? So add up everything, include some money for fun money and include some money for savings. That's gonna be what you need to work towards. Now you have to just look at your paychecks and see how much money you're bringing in every month. Now, if you have one really good month, that doesn't mean that's how much money you're bringing in. You're gonna take the average of your last three months and that will give you an idea of where you're at roughly. So let's say in the first month you made $4,000. In the second month you made $3,000. In the third month you made $2,000. So to find the average, you would add them together. That would make $9,000 and you would divide it by three. That means your monthly average is $3,000 a month. Let's say you eat out with your friends and you spend $1,000 every single month and you're unwilling to change that then you need to add that to your expense category. Add in your rent, car payment, car insurance, if you're a chair renter, whatever your expenses are in one side, figure out how much money you make, and now you have an idea of where you are and where you need to go. I know numbers can be confusing, so if you need a little bit more help with developing your personal roadmap, we do have a whole module in our 10K in Play called paychecks and pleasures. And in there, we help you dive deeply into the numbers of your life and in your business to really help you grow and thrive. Step number two of pre-booking your income is guide your clients. They don't know when they need to see you next. You are the professional. I like to call you their hair doctor. They don't know that they need their toner refreshed every six months or if they're redhead, it'll start to look really drab in four to five weeks. Or if they need to get a haircut every six weeks because they heat style or maybe sooner if they're really hard on their hair. Each client is different and they don't even know what they need. So it is your job to tell them that. I tell all my clients in the consultation what kind of investment is gonna be involved in maintaining whatever cut and color they decide to choose. So for instance, Let's say I have someone that's coming in for a balayage and I'm like, well, you know what? It's a bigger service, but be the great thing is, is, is your natural root. You can let it grow for about six months. So every six months, you're going to need one of the bigger services that we're doing today. It will cost X amount of dollars, but every six weeks, because you uh, actually pull a lot of warmth, you're going to want a toner. You're going to find that at that time, some of it will start to look a little bit brassy and the toner will fix it right up for you. That one is a significantly smaller service. It's only gonna take an hour and a half and it's only gonna cost this much. Tell your clients what they need. So the action step I want you to take is tomorrow or whatever the next day you're at work, I want you to take time during every single one of your consultations and tell your clients how they are gonna maintain whatever they're getting done today. So if you have a client that has a lot of split ends that doesn't wanna cut it off right away, 
say, okay, cool, no problem. But we got to start to inch their way up there. We can do it slowly, but we have to continually do it gradually. So if you're not going to cut it right now, let's get you in in four to five weeks, maybe six if they're not that bad. And then let's do another cut and let's continue to do that until all of the splits are off. And then we can graduate you onto a different cutting schedule. Step number three of pre-booking your income is book your clients before they leave. None of this shoot me a message when you wanna get in. For me right now, my schedule is so booked that if I have a client that needs a four to five hour time slot, they have to book probably about six weeks in advance, maybe eight if they want a specific weekend or an evening slot because those ones go so quickly. All of my clients pre-book before they leave because they know if they don't, they're probably not gonna have a spot. Now, I know when you're first starting, you probably have an open calendar and so you kind of leave it to them. But unless you start implementing these things, you will always have an open calendar. So the tip I want you to do is just know that everybody starts somewhere. So if you're someone that has an open calendar, don't just tell them, hey, book whenever you want, my schedule's open. Just give them a couple of options. Hey, you want an evening? I got Wednesday evening and I also got Thursday evening. Which one works better for you, right? And know that as you start to do this, your schedule will be more full. If you have clients that don't wanna book right away, just let them know that your schedule fills up really quickly. And if for whatever reason something changes, it's much easier to swap an appointment with someone than create one out of thin air, which is totally true. Step number four of pre-booking your income is get a booking system. Enough with this pen and paper already. We are in the 21st century, which is the century of technology. Booking systems range anywhere from like 25 to $150 a month. Uh, obviously the one that's $150 a month is a little bit more robust and it can do a lot of things for you. They typically can run reports, send appointment reminder confirmations. There's pots for notes, uh, marketing, blah, blah, blah. There's lots of stuff. Let's say you get a system that's $150 a month, even on the high end. That is the cheapest assistant that you will ever hire. Now this assistant will run all your reports from you, tell you what's your retention rate, tell you which clients haven't been in in six months, tell you how much money each client is spending with you. It will send out appointment reminders. It will do so much for you. The whole premise of 10K in play is earn more money and work less hours. If you're making a whole bunch of money, but you don't have any time to spend that money, then what good is that? You wanna create yourself a little bit of time freedom so that you can set yourself up to scale. The last thing I want to do at the end of a crazy busy day is text all of my clients or call them to remind them that they have an appointment. With these booking systems, typically you can set an automatic reminder, either a day or two days before, three days before, you can set it to email or text, Whatever you want, it will, automating your business, I tell you, will make your life so much easier. The booking system that we use is MindBody. It's one that is super robust. Yes, it's a little bit on the pricier end, but it actually saves me money because I don't have to have an assistant to tell all my clients when they're coming in next, blah, blah, blah. It will run all of your costs of service, all of your retention numbers. It will tell you when your clients are in last. It does everything. If you wanna get yourself set up with a booking system, here's a link to the booking system that I recommend for you. It will handle everything that you need to do and give you back some more of your time. Step number five of pre-booking your income is fill the gaps within your day. If you're a stylist that has a whole bunch of empty slots in your day, figure out a way to get some butts in your chair. Go ask your friends and family for referrals, ask your clients for referrals, talk to the waitress, talk to the bus driver. I don't care what you do. Find a way to get busy, even if you're doing some free hair to start. If you're new in the industry, maybe you don't really need to build your portfolio, but you just wanna get the energy moving. Nothing is worse than just sitting there and doing nothing. It's like crickets and like nothing is moving and nothing comes your way because you're not doing anything and it doesn't attract any energy. When I first started in the hair industry, my boss said to me, Jessica, prove it to me that you wanna be on the floor. You have a month to show me what you can do. For the next three weeks, I was fully booked every single day. I didn't even have to finish the fourth week. At the end of the third week, he pulled me aside and said, Jessica, what are you doing? I was like, I posted ads, I talked to friends, I offered this, and then like, I'm like, when I have a climb my chair, I upsell. Like, I just did whatever I needed to do to stay busy. And if you want to get that busy, you got to get the energy flowing. So this is your action step for step number five. If you have gaps in your day, I want you to go outside today and meet three new people that can be 
three new possible clients. Not just say, hey, what's your name? This is my name. Tell them what you do and tell them why they need to see you. Spread a rumor that you're amazing. That's it for today's video. If you need any more help with learning about your numbers and taking you through each step one by one, head on over to 10kandplay.com and the Master Academy. There is specific modules dedicated just to helping you get busier, how to increase your retention rate, how to get referrals, we have a whole module called Paychecks and Pleasure, teaching you how to earn more money. It's a super simple and easy system to implement into your business today. And even if you're working for someone else, you think, oh, okay, I don't have a business. You absolutely do have a business. Your little chair business is your business. If there's no butts in your chair, you're the one that's not going out with your friends. You're the one that's not going out on that fabulous trip. You're the one that's not doing anything. So have some accountability for your results. With your 10K and Play membership, you also get a spot in our private beauty activist group. In there, you'll have access to me and Veronica to ask any questions to. You'll also have access to other alumni, other graduates, because success is so much easier in numbers. We all struggle the same, so we all support each other to help us get from zero dollars to five figures a month.